Hey, it's Ocean, and welcome back to another part of The Sims 4 Growing Together. I miss this family so much. I know you all were asking me, where, where is Barbie? Where is the Growing Together family? They are here, I will be honest, after Minnie passed away. It really felt like she passed away in real life. I felt like I was grieving and just couldn't touch the save until a couple days after or weeks. I just, I couldn't play. You know, we lost a major family member. We moved her in and she just helped out so much that I was like, how am I supposed to take care of all these Sims by myself? Because she would autonomously take care of them. So I really felt that. I felt like, you know what? I really lost a family member. So naturally obviously i took a little break i really wanted to play up the save before i even is that is that joy on her bike look at her we had to speak about milestones and stuff too i have so much to update you on i wanted to play up the save file before i came back because i didn't want to play where we left off you know everyone's sad and just i just didn't want to do that so i focused on kenny's aspiration i'm just gonna go and tell you all everything that's been changed or updated. And it is Sunday. Barbie <laughs> is gonna come out here and tell Carlo Jr. that she has to take him home. He has to go ahead and head home. And Kenny, you have to go influence her to, let's see. Um, she needs to take a shower because she was just in the pool. Ironically enough, I am beginning this episode on the day that we started the Let's Play. The day we started the Let's Play, Barbie had her baby shower. It was epic. Her water broke at the baby shower. It was amazing. It's tomorrow they have school and Tuesday is the start of summer break because on Will Wright Day, they don't have um, school. And then we have the whole summer. And so I'm really excited because I feel like we can really do a lot of like things and everything once the summer hits. And I'm really gonna like build all their skills. On Friday, Chris Santo ages, or Christo, goodness gracious, Christo ages up. On his first birthday, we didn't really do much. So when he ages up on this day, I do wanna have a really big party for him. So in the next episode, I think that's what we'll be doing. Aging Christo up, Kenny and Jorley, I, or Jorlin, I keep getting their names confused because all of their names are inspired from their family members. Jeez, this is a true Filipino family. <laughs> but they age up and I'm so sad about it. And then after that, that same week, Barbie and Ken age up. The reason why everyone's aging up so fast is because I went ahead and changed the duration of their aging to normal because it's already long enough now that infants are another life stage, but it's even longer now if you have it on long. So I was like, you know what? I'll never get through this. Um, family if <laughs> i will never get through if i don't just turn aging on normal which they have a ton of days to get things together hey, kenny are you gonna take a shower girlfriend are you gonna listen to your mom i don't even think she got a chance to tell her to take a shower but we're just gonna have her go to sleep who cares like or no she could still take a quick shower and go to sleep we are gonna have jorlin go ahead and go to sleep and she actually learned how to ride a bike off cam so she gained that milestone and kenny doesn't really care to ride a bike but that is her next milestone so i am gonna try to like accomplish that in this episode however she did reach her um, aspiration she completed it so now she has the practice host reward trait if your sim has the practice host reward trait these sims are some of the best event hosts they're friendly and funny socials during parties will always succeed so i'm really excited about that because i feel like kenny is more of a chatty girl anyway and ironically enough her and carlo jr who she is now good friends with in the even exchange friendship bracelets even though they are cousins i feel like your cousins are like your first friends kind of like your siblings so carlo and her are are getting very very close and i love it because she pranked him at their sleepover that she had when i achieved her aspiration and if you want to check out that sleepover, there are photos on my community posts. If you're on my Tumblr and Twitter, you've already seen them. But I'm so glad I played that off cam. I had to play that off cam because it was glitching when I tried to film it. And I was like, you know what? Maybe that's a sign that I should just play my game and enjoy this. Kenny has a loose tooth. She should expect to lose it soon. They, this is like the second loose tooth this week. Oh, is it the monster under the bed? Let Kenny talk to the monster under the bed because she has maxed out her social skills i feel like she could be able to talk to the monster under the bed and convince it to like go somewhere oh she can't talk to it because of this thing there we go now she can talk to it she's like hey just leave my sister alone so she can sleep it's okay <laughs> and she gained her confidence wow hello my friend kenny is super excited to hear from her friend the monster under the bed 
Wow, Kenny just made friends with the monster under the bed. She can't wait to find out more about it. You wanna know what's cool? I could place the tooth under the pillow and sleep. I swear the since we're growing together is still a good pack. I'm not over it. And it came out in what, May? I'm still not over it. I didn't know you could do this. I was wondering how you get gifts and rewards from the tooth fairy. I'm gonna do that because I didn't do that last time. So let's place place your tooth under your pillow because the tooth fairy will definitely come. It's time to head to bed. If you're lucky, when you wake up, you'll have a nice surprise from the tooth fairy waiting for you and your inventory. Yeah, I don't think I got that last time. I did not get that. They got a certificate, which I haven't even posted on their walls. I probably should do that. Let's see, she has a certificate and then she should have one too. Yeah, they both have one. Does it say names on it though? Yeah, it does. Oh, that is so cute. They have certificates from the Tooth Fairy and it does say their name so that I know who's is who. And Kenny also reached level 10 in the motor skill. What in the world? I feel like she's gaining all types of skills. Poor baby, she's scared and she can't even go back to sleep. Just hide under the covers. Jorlin hasn't maxed out any skills. She's really close to maxing out her motor skill, which is really good as well. And her creativity is pretty high too. Wow, so they're kind of like neck and neck with their skills and I haven't really deliberately been working on them, but I've been trying, I've been trying. And now Jorlin has a loose tooth too. What in the world? Oh, look at the lovely couple. I love them. So even though Kenneth is sleeping, I do want to announce that he did get a promotion to project manager in the Tech Guru career. That is level five. So technically he's completed his aspiration. He can have a new one, but I genuinely don't know what aspiration to choose for Kenneth. I was thinking maybe he could just have the fabulously wealthy, but money isn't really an object to him. He doesn't really care. They have enough. Kenneth is so smart that... I feel like I could stay in the knowledge aspiration because that's fun. I might even give him nerd brain. Rocket scientist, launch upgrade, that's fun. And we've never owned a rocket ship. Let's just go for it. Let me just give him this because I've never even done this aspiration. I really don't think I have. So that'll give us something to do with him. And then we have some reward points that we can use. Barbie has the big happy family aspiration. And I can't wait. I would love for her to win the matriarch reward trait. But I do have good news. She paid off her student loans. I got a notification saying she needs to make a payment. And I've been dreading it because I just love having something to owe in a sense. <laughs> Girl, she is up eating biscuits and gravy. Go to bed. But yeah, I just went ahead, paid off her student loans, and it was just that easy. I want Jorlin to wiggle her tooth. She's literally up three in the morning, this little girl. She can't sleep. <laughs> wiggle your tooth. You got this. Jorlin lost her tooth. She can wait a while for a new tooth to appear or can elect to fix a missing tooth. And look at her little photo down here. She definitely is missing a tooth. She is so cute. This was such a nice feature. I mean, look at that. And her tooth is genuinely missing. That is so nice. So hopefully she will get a prize too, but she needs to go to sleep or she's not gonna get anything from the tooth fairy. It is almost time for school. Barbie is going to wake up because this is what I'm gonna start having Barbie do. Wake up at around like five or four so that she can make some of this mom content that she likes to do. She actually recently did a video. I wanna see what's trending before I, you know, get the most bang for my buck. Worst day ever. I totally forgot Barbie is high maintenance, so we should probably go to the spa and have a spa day while the kids are at school. She has a lot of traits. Barbie is a slob, high maintenance, art lover, family oriented, cheerful, outgoing, marketable. Morning Sim Creative Visionary, we should actually. And she has a fine arts degree. I keep forgetting our girl really does love, she loves art. Do we still have our drone? Let's let us make a cooking vlog. Let's do that. Which outfit are you gonna wear for your video? Yes, this is her. She literally is going to make sure she wears the right outfit for her, <laughs> for her video. I like this, this is cute. But who wears sunglasses in the house? She's like, no, this is doing the most. Why would I wear sunglasses in the house? She's gonna wear this new outfit that I have. I did put her in some glasses. I know it's like, why would Barbie wear glasses? But you know how some people wear glasses for style. All right, so we're gonna begin recording and then we're gonna come down here and we're gonna make some waffles. She can make so many different kinds of waffles. We will make apple bacon waffles. Apple bacon sounds good. It just sounds filling, delicious. Barbie is recording. Is this done? Serve the waffles. Oh, school is about to start for them too. <laughs> Hurry up so y'all can eat some waffles. I want y'all to come down here. Change your outfit. Let's see, I just love, oh, she got something? What did she get? Or did she just get money? Let me check their inventories so I can see. Oh, she got something too. A fair trade was made, but be not dismayed. Soon you'll have an upgrade. A fair trade was made. 
but be not dismayed soon you have what does that even mean oh so we got a tooth fairy hero sticker yes the tooth fairy has wings but did you know they also have a rainbow cape while it's true that the bones in your jaw shouldn't have any colorful flaws the tooth fairy can't help themselves by adding a little flair to their looks so we both got what money and a little like sticker let's put george right there and then we'll put her sticker here that's cute I'll just put it here because I just don't feel like going into build mode. We'll just stick it anywhere. Work for Kenneth starts in about an hour. And to be honest, we don't need this job. So I'm going to have him quit. I meant to go ahead and do that. I only got the job so that I could, um, you know, knock that off of his aspiration. But now that we finished that aspiration, we don't need that. And we should probably check and see what kind of um, rewards we can get with his points, the little points that he does have. Look at you being responsible, Kenny. I love you. She needs a new <laughs> aspiration too. So we completed Slumber Party Animal. Let's see, Mind and Body Confident Kiddo. Ooh, let's do Playtime Captain because that kind of sounds really fun. Silly Stomper, what's the reward trait with that? Pack Animal, these Sims love improving themselves and others together. They have faster relationship and skill gain when training with friends. I could totally see her being like that. Like she would totally be the mom friend of her group, keeping everyone together, helping everyone, everyone getting successful together. It played sad music when we quit the tech guru, guru career, but Kenneth is actually very happy. Y'all know how much it stressed him out. They were always asking him to socialize and do all this stupid stuff. Barbie, you can end your recording now. <laughs> this drone is about to die on us. So, oh, it didn't count as cooking. We were cooking. Ugh. I'm going to title this apple bacon waffle recipe from my Lola. Everyone will love that on Sims 2 because it's meaningful, you know? And what I love about this is we finally just have a day with Crystal. We never just have a day with baby Crystal. I realized that. Poor thing. Okay, so what I want to do is give some food to him. Granny's cookbooks. Snacks. Yes. Okay. Let's give him some of these pancakes and berries. Rebate received. A rebate check of 28 simoleons has been received. Sims in the household were able to save on their recent purchases. Oh, all because we purchased the little recipe. Look at him. Oh, he's giving him yogurt. Okay, that's cute. Put this away. Uh-oh, not the sink breaking. Like, we're supposed to head out somewhere. No, let's go ahead and get rid of that. Okay. He's like, don't worry, babe, I got it. Thank you. I really want to go out with Christo and have fun. Oh, no, and Lady has to go to the vet. Oh, my gosh. Isn't that the worst? Hey, we have to go to the vet and do stuff like that. Because I really want to get out. I think Barbie's going to take Lady to the vet. No, we're all just, well, let's just all go to the vet. This is how life is. Oh, no, he didn't even eat what Kenneth had planned for him, which was the little pancakes and berries. Oh, goodness gracious. Oh, well. We'll just trash it. Weird science in lab Jorlin's science experiment exploded and made a big mess along with frightening another student. We think she did it on purpose. No way. Realistically, I would just say just apologize to the other student. Like, sorry I scared you. And also tell the teacher, like, it's not that serious. Like, things like this happen all the time. <laughs> Why would you assume she did it on purpose? I mean, not to say Jorlin is perfect, but she really just doesn't have behavior issues or anything like that. So I kind of find that hilarious. Sims Talk made 129 simoleons today. Um, Kenneth might give up on his idea of ever making this a really big thing. I think we should redevelop it and release it again because it's not making that much. But Barbie, Barbie, Barbie has made so much money off of her videos, specifically why she hasn't been on Sims 2 lately and losing her Lola. So when they see that new Lola recipe with the apple bacon waffles. I think everyone's gonna be like, oh, yay, Barbie's back. Kenneth is gonna come in and check in, lady. But man, we were supposed to have a nice little family day. I mean, we still have time. You know, there's nothing wrong with having to. What in the world was that? Barbie, pick this. She needs to cool it. I think she needs to do some yoga or something because she <laughs> is feeling so, she's feeling so angry right now. Oh my goodness. I feel like Kenneth is like, don't worry, babe. I'll go in there with lady. Where is lady anyway? Which examination table is she going to? Oh, they're getting her now. Oh, she's using what her Lola taught her. I love that so much. <sighs> and then Crystal just sees his mama and he's gonna sit next to his mommy. <laughs> I love it how they're waiting right here. He's like, yeah, babe, just hit. It's okay, calm down. We're gonna get you some food. Maybe she's hangry because all she ate was the apple bacon waffles. I don't know, but she's fine now. She's knitting. Good thing she brought this. I'm gonna have Kenneth come back here and watch Lady. <laughs> 
He's like, all right, babe, they called her back there, so I'm going to go back there. Oh, Let's get the expensive treatment. Holy cow. Um, that's a lot. Let's get the expensive treatment. I don't want to be cheap. I don't want her to have to wear a cone over her head. There you go, girl. All better now. <laughs> I love it. I'm going to have him, like, pick her out, too. Well. He's like, are you okay? He's talking to her like she's like she's a sim. <laughs> like, are you okay? Who is calling? And Vince can be a real handful. No oh, thanks. He's young. like, oh, lady. All right, you ready to go home? You were so good, girl. All right, so lady's fine. <laughs> Kenneth cannot. I swear, this feels like it's Kenneth's dog more than Barbie's dog. I swear. Like, lady like, likes him the most out of everyone. Y'all notice that? I'm about to take a picture. I just noticed something, though. Because I have aging on, it's kind of sad because... <laughs> That means that our dog will age up too. Oh, I hate that. We arrive here at the rec center and look who's here in the front. It's Chris Santo. I just love how he's already here. Maybe they asked him to meet them there. And then Angel shows up. Barbie's just gonna go paint right now, even though I feel like she should do something more relaxing. Like, is there a yoga or something here? Because she is really, really moody. There is yoga, I'm sorry. As much as you wanna paint right now, I need you to, ooh, I wonder if she can, oh, she can lead a yoga routine. What is her wellness skill looking like? She's wellness skill level two. You know what? Let's just lead a yoga routine, teach a yoga class. Let's just lead the routine. Let's make it a public one. And let's do family friendly. Like no big pressure on it. Nothing crazy. Barbie's yoga class is starting soon. <laughs> Invite others to join. That is so cool. Oh my goodness. I kind of like the idea. Lucho Harho. Can we invite him to join? Invite to join yoga class. Oh, someone's already coming to the yoga class. Wow, our uncle is supporting. <laughs> Carlo is coming to our yoga class. No way, that is funny. Well, here we go, Barbie's leading yoga and she's feeling very inspired finally. So even though she was <laughs> feeling like very, very angry just now, I love wellness. Barbie is in her element and because she's doing something she prefers, oh no, it just disappeared. Oh no, it's not, it's right here. It increased her fun game. I don't know why sometimes my Sims faces take a while to load here recently, but it's whatever. I, I know how she's feeling, but I love that she feels good. So she's good. We killed two birds with one stone with that one. And what is he doing? He's headed to the computer. Oh no, you don't, sir. You are going to come over here and play. <laughs> Kenneth's going to spend time with baby Crystal. He's going to play pirates. Play pirates with Crystal. I love how he's already headed over here anyway, so I feel like he was already kind of thinking that way anyway. We have about 30 minutes until the younger girls come out of school. But I was thinking about, too, putting in them in some type of club or something. We're going to have to think about that. Like, what can I accomplish with them in less than a week? Our kids are growing up. Oh, look at him having so much fun. This is adorable. <laughs> Carlo just became good friends with Barbie. Okay, Barbie, this might be another side hustle for you because... And we actually got a better relationship with our uncle. Let's give a loving hug. And she's just going to say, hey, thanks. Um, thank you, uncle. Have we ever seen them hug before? This is new. <laughs> Like, this is so brand new. You know, he's just very distant, and I think maybe he knows that. She still has the fear of death, and I think she's going to experience that with Carlo. Kind of, like, discuss her fears with him and how she misses Lola, which is, you know, his mom. And maybe after losing his mom, he's like, you know what? I need to draw closer to my family and not be so distant and be such a prick all the time. So, oh, he's like, just breathe. It's okay. He's like, I miss her, too. Oh, we're getting close to our uncle. He's not so bad. He was just a... I was just about to say this, a military, just a real, like, I don't know, just straight edge kind of guy. We're going to brighten his day and thank him for participating. I think I want to have another class. She's feeling good. She's feeling happy. I think I want to promote the yoga class on this Instagram and then actually teach a yoga class. Whoa, 110 simoleons per participant? Per person? <laughs> But I'm gonna do another family friendly one. <laughs> that is great. And then we need to make sure that we edit this video on the drone when we get back home too. Okay, well, I am so down for that. Let's bring the uh, girls here because obviously we would not want them to miss anything. And because our girl, Kenny has this aspiration now, she wants to stomp playfully on his splash pad. So let's do that. She has a playtime captain aspiration, so. Let's have her. Wait, what? Stomp playfully. Play some. 
click on the emitter. Oh, we have to be in a playful mood. <gasps> How do we get in that? If we play with these, will we get in a playful mood? I know it seems like I'm not working towards Jordan's aspiration, but she actually has a creative genius trait, which she needs to play in a tree house. She needs to play pretend. So we're probably going to go to our grandparents' house really quick, just so I can knock that off the list. Uh, the grandparents' house still isn't furnished, so it still does look a little wonky. I need to do that. I might do that off cam. I would uh, I would do it now, but I just feel like I'm going to take forever. But here is our actual class. Oh, no one participated? Jenny Lynn's calling. Oh, she's calling us. Oh, I'm going to have to call her back because we're doing that yoga class. So, man, no one came to our class. Okay, so <laughs> the uh, for our paid yoga class, it's only our uncle and our dad. That is something else. I'm... I'm screaming right now. That's okay. That's funny. That doesn't make any sense. And she is here relaxing. She was supposed to be working towards getting in a playful mood, but she's relaxing. Oh my gosh. She is the cutest thing. But Jor, I want you to come up here and play. Choose a puzzle. Let's do 50 pieces. We'll do something easy. And yeah, best friends forever. That kind of sounds adorable. And they gain logic from this. So I love that they're both gaining skills. I see Jorlan more as like mental, very creative though still, um, but very, very smart like her father and very creative. While I see Kenny being some type of public speaker, political career, social media star, <laughs> they are total opposite, but it's always like that. And I think that's what makes it fun when you have two different um, people. And not our grandmother calling try for a baby no <laughs> oh princess is calling hey barbie's princess do you want to hang out tonight <gasps> how do i i can't i can't i can't pass this up we haven't hung out with princess in forever should we go princess is probably like listen you never get to have a mom night out you just watched all your all our nieces and nephews last night and your own kids just so that carlo and angel could get a break you deserve a break too so i don't know maybe we could leave our kids with their grandparents or their grandparents here or something and maybe let's just pretend that they're taking them home or something but let's go out with kenneth if i don't accept it now i might not do it later so let's just go ahead and have fun i just love how it just brought that up on me like princess asking us to go out i don't even know i don't even think she's been to the place that princess asked her to hang out at we are in chestnut hold on if we're gonna be here at least let me replace the lot let's place sim cubes um chestnut ridge dance hall the original one still looks good um some of these lots were made by other creators but I want to play in something new. So there we go. Just something with a little bit more personality using all the packs and stuff. So I like this. Oh my goodness. They brought baby Cristo on accident because I did not exclude him from. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Let's just pretend the baby is not here. The baby is not supposed to be here. That is funny. But look at this place. Isn't it so beautiful? It looks like a really real. I mean, I don't even hear music. How are y'all dancing? I don't even hear any music. Okay, turn on. Where is it? Turn on ranch music. Barbie's thinking to herself, like, I don't know, maybe we should come out to the ranch more often. I mean, they live in San Sequoia, which for me feels like it's obviously in California, like San Francisco. And I'm trying to think, maybe they're in, what would be close by that would remind them of Chestnut Ridge? But they're probably like, what, an hour or so away? Go ahead, Barbie, do the cowpoke dance. Look at Christo, he's not supposed to be on the dance floor. Oh my goodness, I love this. Okay, but he's, he's messing this up. I'm gonna kick him off. <laughs> <laughs> go all go away from the stage look at them look how cute they look yes they look so good and you need to go away too look You're, he's ruined all of this they look so cute this was fun even though look angel and carlo got another night out because they're here with us too so yeah i think the grandparents definitely have all of our kids right now because how did we all get get to have like a little <laughs> night out i think barbie and the fam found their new favorite thing to do especially barbie because she is <laughs> She is having so much fun doing this, y'all. It is like 1043, almost below midnight. Is she getting sick? Cringe from a social bunny po pose. I just need to express this uncomfortableness. What happened? Anyway, well, we're not going to stay out for drinks or anything. We're going to go ahead and end this partying with friends. That was fun. Just go ahead and end it. But it's late. They, they really need to get home now. So it's later in the evening and I have Barbie editing her video that she made earlier. So that way she can go ahead and upload it, get it going. And then Kenneth, I'm just having him read a book. Well, I don't think he wants to read the book anymore. 
He wants to make kettle corn. No, read the book. He has to finish reading his book because I at least want to work towards this. I'm going to level up in logic and do all that good stuff. Kenny is making experiments right now. I think in the next episode, I'm definitely going to have her like play on the splash pad and get their aspirations all the, already just settled before things keep going. But she has so many reward points. I want to spend some of them. So I definitely think that we should probably give her the always welcome. I feel like every sim should have that. So when they go visit their family, I don't know why, but sometimes they can't do stuff. Y'all already know how crazy it is. I love that she's just a kid and we're probably going to have so many trades. I am going to give her the great storyteller, which is something I rarely do. But I'm going to give this to her because I feel like she'd have so many stories. It's just a part of her like gregarious personality all that she can just tell all the great stories of like her childhood you know everything she's the one that just remembers every single thing i will then give her the observant trait too and then how much does jorlin have she only has 800 but what could we use to benefit her she could probably use the we're gonna give her the always welcome too, just so that she already has it as a kid and then we'll work the rest out but Okay, we're almost done editing this. And Kenneth, how are you on this book? He's still reading this book. I love how he's just standing up in the middle of the kitchen reading this book. I don't even know if he finished it. Did he finish it? No, you didn't even finish it. You have to finish Crisis Barn. As today, it's officially the start of summer. <laughs> I keep forgetting today. Technically, it's Will Wright Day. It's just three in the morning, and they're up just hanging out. I'm like, wait, don't they have school tomorrow? So it's it'll be real Will Wright Day, so we'll celebrate that with them. And, yeah, I think that's good because the, that's perfect. So let's have her watch a movie. Watch a movie with – let's watch Lost Dog's Journey Home with Kenny. Let's watch a movie with our sister, you know, spend that one-on-one. -on -one. And then what's this little guy doing? He's so stinky. Is he stinky or is that the dog? Oh my goodness. Let me see. Oh, he just has a dirty diaper. Okay. Yeah, we need to change that. We need to change that diaper. Also, an update on Crystal because I know we kind of bypassed him because he's a toddler. We don't really see him and he's just out and about. <laughs> he's a light sleeper. He gained the destructive quirk. Um, the other day and yeah he just leveled up his imagination but yes so he's a little destructive okay and a wanderer he has some crazy quirks but I love this little kid but it looks like he just maxed out his imagination now he just needs to do his thinking and his potty oh he's not even potty trained yet that's I feel so bad he's not potty trained I'm gonna just have him go to the potty since he has to go now he can actually do that part on his own at least and how is the video she edited it's good quality um i want to add effects and stuff. i'm just gonna upload it <laughs> i'm just gonna upload it so that she feels accomplished and then one thing i'll have barbie do is probably work on some painting tomorrow but i think i'm gonna end the part here because i kind of want to make this will right day really fun like we spent it all in the summer just having like a really nice barbecue type thing starting off with some really good energy i just wanted to pop in with the family because i know y'all have been asking and i could not give an answer because i was telling you like ah, i need to play up the family a little bit more but i'm really excited because we're Oh, no, we're just oh my god is she crying this movie made her cry thinking of lost dog journeys home now she's probably gonna come over here and pet her dog <laughs> oh, look at this little girl she's like she came back the dog in the movie looks like our dog <laughs> no wonder she's crying no wonder she's crying oh my gosh i love that that is adorable y'all are <laughs> She said, let's become companions. The lady's like so confused. She's so confused. Kenneth is wondering whether all these strict rules and high standards are worth upholding for his usual well-behaved family member. Perhaps he should loosen his expectations a bit. What? Who does he have a strict dynamic with? Let me check on that. I think it is Kenny. It feels like it's Kenny. Yeah, he has a strict dynamic with Kenny for some reason. I probably approved that because for, at the time it probably made sense with the story, but... Anyway, let's prepare for the next task because what I want him to do now is to, oh, wow, well, we should pay our bills. We should definitely do that. You know, pay some tides to go ahead and donate to an online charity, send 100. You know what? No, we have enough money to pay our bills. We're going to donate 1,000 to, let's see, foundation, speak for the trees, no sim left behind. There we go. And then let's go ahead and have him program. We need to start a side job i'm going to make a mobile app this is going to be sim talk 2.0 <laughs> 
we're going to redo this. This is so time consuming, but we're going to make some good money. And it also says giving gusto, giving to charity is its own reward, but a little bit of self-complimentary recognition ain't so bad. So we're going to be in a donor newsletter apparently, which is so sweet. The Blake Dela Cruz household, you know how we do. But yeah, today's Will Wright Day, you know, the classic holiday. And she is, what social bunny post has her feeling cringe? I have to see what social bunny post is this. Look what our baby brother just put. Barbie, your face is so punchable. Just looking at it makes me want to throw down. <laughs> I can't. I cannot with him. He is always trying to play me. We need to hang out with our little brother. Christopher, how do Sims cool themselves down this summer? They turn on the fan and stand directly in front of it for hours. Hmm. Okay. I will at least start the event. We're going to make it a house party. Not a gold event. I'm going to personally invite our friends, but I'm going to go to the family tab and just make sure that we invite at least all of our family, you know? So I'm going to, you know what? I wonder if Minnie's ghost would show up. There we go, we're inviting everyone. And I hope we see her ghost. I really do, I really, really do. And we will have it at our house and then we'll probably have it at 12. 12 in the afternoon. So we have our party set up. We're gonna have a nice little like party for Will Wright Day. I'm going to get some streamers and all that and decorate. So the next episode will be really fun. Yay, and before we leave the video, Kenny did learn how to ride a bike. Yay, <laughs> she accomplished that milestone. But I'm gonna go ahead and let you go and see you all in the next episode. Barbie's already tired, but we have to decorate everything. I'm really excited. I hope you all enjoyed this part. I know you missed the family, but if you enjoyed it, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Just keep simming. Always, always, always stay wavy. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace out. I don't know what I do without you. What is it that you